the civil rights movement was not just about marches and sit-ins and boycotts and protests. It was also about confronting segregation in different spaces. And the Michigan State teams of the 1960s, they confronted segregation on the field, physically. They challenged the color line in numerous ways. Duffy Doherty faced criticism. There were people all across America who were watching this and saying, where is this going? Well, it was going to lead to a national champion. It isn't very often that you can put that many superstars together and have it work. But it worked and it worked well. The part that really reflected what this great experiment of Duffy Doherty's was all about was the National Football League draft. For one school to have the number one, number two, number five, number eight picks, unprecedented. I never really developed an appreciation for football. My dad didn't show me the game. He didn't sit me down in front of the TV and explain how football works. I wish we could have had the moments that we're having now when I was a kid. We might have a chance to make up for that. We had something very powerful, and it did expose me to things that had I not played, I wouldn't be able to experience. We wanted to prove to ourselves and to everybody around the country that we could, uh, we could be the best. Without that opportunity, I, I never would have made it because of the segregation. When our players meet a guy like Gene Washington, there's a little bit of a feeling of awe, you know, speaks about their, their past and, their, and the history that they've brought here. Had it not been for them, we, we wouldn't be here. The idea of being offered a chance to be a part of a big community, a big family, uh, meant a whole lot. <laughs>